Portia from Real Housewives got proposed to by Simon, who just happens to be, what's her name's husband? Fallon. Fallon. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting the child's name. Don't call her child. She turned 32 today. Happy birthday, Fallon. Yeah, happy birthday, Fallon. That's what I was going to say. So uh, Fallon, still on her Instagram, it's like nothing has changed. Yeah, because she's not bothered. So nothing has changed. You know, the bottom line is, is that supposedly, you know, um, they got, you know, they went to get a divorce in January and it's set any day now for the judge to sign off. So Simon decided to propose to Portia and people are like, yo, it's only been 30 days. Y'all been dating 30 days. It's too new. But the real question is, Nina Brown. Did she break girl code? That's what the Internet is still talking about all this week. You know, even on The Real, they talked about it. A lot of talk shows have been talking about it. And that's my thing is Portia said they weren't friends. But others are saying even if y'all weren't friends, you've been in that woman's house. You met her husband. You keep yeah. with her. And it's still some sort of woman code that you should not have done. And I can feel that as a woman. I would never date someone's husband when I've been in y'all's house and I've met your kids. Like, I wouldn't personally do that. But I also hear when Portia says, we're not friends. If you have no loyalty to somebody, then what code is there? Except for a code of conduct for yourself. Okay, let's go to the phones. DMV, hello. Hello. Hey, Candace. Hi, Candace. Hi. What you think, Candace? So this is my opinion on that. I feel like yes, the girl code was broken because regardless if she was your friend or not, y'all hung out. It's the code. Right. You hung out. You hung out on multiple occasions, multiple times, regardless of what the situation is. It was still a girl code. Mm -hmm. Whether you consider her a close friend or not, she's an associate. So at the end of the day, it's still a girl code. Mm. So, I mean, I feel like it was broken all the way around the board. There no matter goes. what the circumstances was, it was still broken. Thank you very much, Candace. Thanks, Candace. You're welcome. I'm just going to say this, and I don't want you to say, don't flip it, stay on tack. We can talk about girl code slash woman code slash a code of conduct for the rest of the hour. But I will say, I am disappointed that everyone is talking about what Portia did versus what Portia and Simon did. Like, I get Portia's the famous one, but still, when two people are, are in an entanglement, then we should be looking at both of them. It always comes down to it being the woman's fault oh the woman did this and the woman did that and yet the man gets to like right off in the sunset as if he didn't do anything wrong he's he's to blame if not more because he had the legal commitment and i don't know what entanglement crossed over what dates and what lines and when it started and when it ended but simon is just as much to blame if we're gonna blame portia please blame simon simultaneously can i ask you something sure did Jesus blame Adam or Eve? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's what you came with today? That's what you came with today? No, I got something better, okay. but that's just that's just food for thought, baby. Okay. We blame Eve. Okay, we blame yeah. Eve. But says, says the man. We blame Eve. And that's the way y'all continue to make excuses for your Nina, bad decisions. Since the is, beginning of time, the right. first man and the first woman. Right. Eve. Okay. And that's Eve. And, and this is what an excuse sounds like, so you can continue to make bad okay. excuses. Okay, you I mean, make bad choices. Excuses. I just brought it up. Hi, hey, Karen. Karen. Hey, Frankie. You yes. said something. Uh uh-uh, uh. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a protect Nina right now. Mm. You said something about God blamed Eve. Oh, no, sweetheart. That is not what it says in the Bible. Mm. Come on, sis. It says, if we want to know in Genesis 3 11, mm. mm -hmm. and he said, who told thee that thou was naked and has eaten up the tree? Therefore, I commanded thee to should not eat. He told Adam not to eat it. So what happened, sweetheart, is Adam first blamed by man. He blamed his woman. Mm. That's how it went. God did not blame Eve. Mm. I just wanted to make that comment to you, sweetie. Miss Karen, I thank you. you. What, I love what you. What you said more. was what? You said three eleven. Genesis three eleven is what she said. Yeah, we can go start right there. Three eleven, Genesis. And that's the mm. same thing. Lisa Robinson just DM me too, sis. Genesis three. God blamed both. Man was trying to blame Eve and God. Thank that's you. That's right. That's been a misconception for years. Let's just get the word right. Thank you, Miss Karen. Love you. You're welcome. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> Anna in Northeast. Hi, Frank. Hey. Hey, boo. I got a question for you. Okay. Who's the married one? Simon. Boom. Boom. That's the responsibility lies. 
Amen. Because I feel like this. I mean, mm. you're the married one. It stops with you. It starts and stops with you. All right. So you. I'm here for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anthony in Southeast. Hey, what's going on? What you think, Anthony? What's crazy? I was all right with it until Nina come up with this, the man. Nina, let me explain something oh, to you about, this, about the man, okay? Mm-hmm. We are predators by nature. We are vultures. We are hunters. All he did was got a sniff of that tail. We don't believe in no girl code. He sniffed that tail. No one said with... you needed to believe in girl code. It's called having code of conduct for yourself, bro. We are predators. Predators don't have their code of conduct. <laughs> got it. He mm-hmm. seen what he like. He smelled what he like, and he gone at it. Got it. It ain't his fault. Mm. More excuses for bad behavior. If you if you say y'all want to just act badly, just say that. Just say that, and then we'll move bad on. Bad boys, bad say, boys. What you gonna do? Yeah, we're dogs. We're gonna act like dogs. We're gonna stay on the porch and be a dog. Just say that. It's all good. Ruff, bark, y'all, so we can know what a dog sounds like and looks like. Go ahead, bark. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you for keeping it oh true. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, Frank. There you go. There goes your truth. I have nothing to say. Y'all can say whatever you want. You got it. Mm, All right. (laughs) I I got something to say. I've been holding back. I've been holding back. I am done with you. DJ Herb playing this atomic dog. Shout out to the Q's. But that ain't the type of dog we want in our life, okay? But that's the one y'all be picking. No, we don't, bro. Women over a certain age do not want no dogs, no bad boys, baby. That's See, 20. But, but, that's but you, the 20s. But you're not talking to women over a certain age when you talk about Portia. Um, yes, I am. Because she's doing young girl stuff. Okay. She ain't doing grown woman stuff. Grown woman. Sis is worried about her bag. She's 40. She's dating See, a dude don't, who's don't 50. don't skip over what six. I just said. Don't skip over what I said. Okay. You're getting real good at skipping over my point. No, you're getting real my good point at is, flipping it like a My point pancake. is... Grown women wouldn't do what Portia did. Child, and tell me what a grown man would do, Derek Jackson. Did We're not talking about grown. See Jackson. how you keep flipping it. Herb, she good at the flip, ain't she? You a Derek Jackson. She good at the flip. Tell me what a grown man would do, Derek Jackson. We're not talking about a grown man. We're talking about a grown woman. Here's what I will say that is the unfortunate side of this, okay? Mm-hmm. And I honestly hear what you're saying about Simon being responsible as well as Portia being responsible for their behavior. And I admit that's 100% true. Um, I believe that Simon, you know, um, I believe that Simon culturally, he, he doesn't feel that way. You know, I believe culturally he feels that what he did was okay just to make sure that the divorce agreement was signed and they were done. Um, I think the hard part about what we're talking about here is that we're in a new time in society where equality is a really big thing. So the same like equality is a big thing, then responsibility being equal should be a big thing, which I agree with you, right? Uh huh. I think the problem is that a lot of folks still look at women to a higher standard as them being the ones <clears throat> that should hold themselves to a higher standard. And the more we keep lowering the bar on women's standard, the lower our society gets. You know what I mean? And I think that that's what people are having a problem with this is, is that they looking at Portia like she's the famous one. <clears throat> she's the one that gets the most attention. If it was Simon in his private life, we'd never even hear about it. But it's about Portia. And she, you know, as a woman, should have held herself to a higher standard. I think that's what people are saying. Because women are the moral fabric and, and you know, they the moral character of society is based on their women. Whereas go the women, go the, go the culture. Wow. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's the way people look at it. it so, that's disheartening <laughs> because women are the least protected, the least cared for, and the least paid. And yet the moral fabric of our society is on us. And yet we're not even protected by our own black men. That's sad. Um, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. 
Well, I'm sorry. You don't have to necessarily agree, but that's the consensus amongst most black women is that we do not feel like we are protected. We're definitely paid the least. We definitely like are cared for the least. And we definitely feel like we're not protected, especially when we can be on a radio station throwing rocks at Portia and saying like, oh, she's the bad one. But then you turn around and say the moral fabric is based on women. Well, Hold us up. Protect us. Say, you know what? As a man, even though Portia had a right to do this, Simon should have done better. As a leader in his community, as a black man, if he would have said, no, we're not about to do this. I'm not about to propose to you while I'm still legally married. I'm not about to do this to make you look bad. Let me protect you, Portia. Let's not post this on Instagram. I bet she would have went with it. Because when a black woman loves, honey, they will give everything. We give everything we got to a black man when we love him. Everything. Oftentimes too much. You're going back to blaming Simon. I'm going back to to, when you sit here and say the moral fabric is on women, then do right by us. Do better by us. Protect us. You guys have enough common sense and strength to say, as a black woman, yes, I know I can have you out here like that, but I choose not to have you out here like that. And 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 there are men that do that. Yes, but not enough, Franksky. Not enough. Not enough. I promise you, not enough. We could do a whole four-hour show on women calling this station and it under, like who will explain to you what so, I mean. Not so enough. I and, and I get that. But here here's my thing though, and I and I understand what you're saying. But we, we're going to keep going in circles then. It's like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? If you're saying women should be the moral fabric, but we're not going to be it because men don't hold us up, then we're just going in circles. Like, we I'm making a statement. We want y'all to be the leaders. I'm we want y'all a, to be the okay, leaders. I understand that. I could, then I could give you an answer and say, well, y'all raised us. Okay. You get what I'm saying? And all we're doing is going back and forth. So what I'm saying is it's got to stop. Right. It's, it's got to stop the name calling, the blaming each other, yes. the whole nine yards, whatever. All I said was the reason why this is getting so much attention is because it's her. Sure. Not because it's him. <clears throat> so when we start there, if we start there, then you understand why this has gone, gotten so big. It ain't about Simon. It is. But theoretically, in the public, it ain't. But it's you, about her. But you, see, that's the problem. You being media and having this huge platform has to change the narrative for it to change in society. When you say it ain't about him, it's about her, you have the you have the 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 autonomy to say, you know what? We have made it about Portia on social media, but as a man, let me stand up and say it should not be about Portia. It should be about Simon and what he did wrong and the fact that he's still legally married, proposing and posting it on social media. You have the You can change that. You, you have the power and the platform to do it. But yet you still sit here and say, it's not about Simon. It is, but it's not. It's about Portia. You know, I I agree with you. And I will just say this to you. Every man will tell you, and this has been throughout the history of the world. Women make the world move. It's about women. Women make the world move. World wars have been started over women. Women have the power. And that's all I'm say. And if if you keep giving the power to the men to say, well, if they stood up, we would stand up, then where are we going? I'll because keep, we'll because keep we already power. know that men 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 make dumb decisions. We'll keep women the power. are the smart ones. We'll keep the power. But all I'm gonna say, my plea to you and every black man listening to this radio station, start protecting us better. We want you to be our leaders. We want you to be the head of our households. We want you to be our kings. We want to put you on that throne you deserve to be. Protect us. We have no problem, you know, leading and raising the families, but protect us. So we feel like we are worthy of being protected. Like you guys do that. And we're not expecting the white man to do it. And we damn sure are expecting the white woman to do it. We expect our black men to do better by us. And we will take all the responsibility y'all want on us. All right. 96.3 WHUR. Let's go.